It was a day just like any other. Well, actually, it wasn't a day like any other. other any other. It was the last day of school at Tiburcio Vasquez Elementary. Oh, man. School's out, and there's just so much to learn. Man, what am I going to do? I'm going to be so busy having fun over the summer and relaxing. What am I going to do? Never fear, everyone, because Pinterest Man is here to save the day and build your personal professional development community on Pinterest overnight and in seconds. Pinterest Man was to the rescue, here to save all the scholar staff from a summer of boredom and impatience for the next year. Here are the steps that will help you get started on your personal professional development on Pinterest. Number one. Sign up for an account. You can download the app or go to Pinterest on your closest browser. Number two, find interesting people to follow. If you need help, just ask a fellow expert Pinterestite. Number three, find some pins and create boards. We'll look at that in a little bit later. And finally, number five, add scholar staff to boards and share pins. First thing that you're gonna need to do if you have an iPhone is simply go to the App Store and go to search. Here I am at search and I am going to look for Pinterest. Boom, there we go. And I have already downloaded, but you will download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app and you can either sign up using email or continue with Facebook. I choose to continue with Facebook. I've already been connected and here you go. Here is my Pinterest. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to Pinterest. I automatically have it bookmarked to go to my home page, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and log in. You're gonna go ahead and log in. Again, I have Facebook. I'm gonna log in with Facebook, and boom, the magical keys to the kingdom, hopefully, are here. So you can choose to use any email account if you'd like. You do not have to use your Facebook. Here is my home page, my informational page. Now, if I want to see what interesting stuff is out there, I could either A, create a board first with something in mind, or B, I could do a uh, click on here. Um, this is the Pinterest logo up here on the left corner by the search, and that's going to give me some suggestions on things that I might found in, find interesting to be able to include. Now, let's say I want to look for something specific. I want to look for something on digital citizen ship it is a citizen that looks good so I search that hmm let's see here lots of good resources some of these I have already added but let's just say for the sake of it let's pick one that I don't think I have oh hmm, this one looks interesting 17 characteristics of a digitally competent teacher so I can click on it I'm gonna go ahead and it looks pretty good so I'm gonna go here you can pin it oh there you go and I clicked on pin it. I tried a few times as you can see it didn't work for some reason so I kept kept on trying. Um, I could either go to the bottom create a new board. I can also post directly to Twitter if I'd like. Not this one for now. But I have one that I already kind of like. So let's go ahead and put that at digital actually coaching because it's more coaching than digital citizenship although I could put it in both. And there you go. That's how I added my pin on my browser. And another way, of course, to create a board is by, for me, again, I'm going to go to my home site, which I'm going to go up here. I can either go back. Again, I have a bookmark. I would like to create a, go ahead and create a new board. And I can click on here. And let's say I want this to be on something specific like project-based learning. I can be as detailed as I want down here. Um, what kind of board is it? I think it's going to be an education board. Do I want to keep it a secret? No. And I would like to share it with America. Oh, and there she is, Lawson. Can other members invite? Of course they can. So finally, I would click Create Board. Boom. And there you can see, now my board has been created. Now, for this purposes, again, I just want to get rid of it. So I'm going to delete the board. I messed up. And there you go. There is your tutorial. Uh, remember to create an account, uh, make sure you are 
finding interesting people to follow, look for interesting pins either through the search or by clicking up here. Um, again, the more people that you follow that are the more specific, the more interesting pins you'll find that are meaningful to you. So go ahead and let's go.